So is this the cheapest server rack battery that you can use for your needs at $770 with my discount code Rodney55, which I'll leave below. We're gonna go ahead and test this interval 51.2 volt uh, nominal battery and see if it will be good for your needs in a 48 volt system at the $770 price point, you know, which is just crazy, you know, if the thing works and that's what we'll be testing out. So basically I've already took this thing and I charged it up to 100% two times and then I did a discharge test. And on these two, basically what I did is I took an inverter, a very efficient inverter, a Victron inverter, and I just put this little tester on the output, plugged in a load. The load was running about 1,080 watts. It was just a charger, basically to charge up mother 48 volt system for the building here. And I wanted to see what kind of capacity I could get out of the battery through the inverter. Because, hey, let's face it, that's what really matters. You know, you can do other tests and just test us the DC side to see what kind of amp hours you're getting out. But I want to see what the actual discharge on the AC side of the inverter was going to be. So basically, after doing it uh, two times, it got 4.55 kilowatt hours out pretty much both times. 4.515 and I think 4.556, I think. Yeah, 4.56 on this one. Because, of course, these BMSs in these batteries are always going to hold just a little bit back in the system. And if this is 5.21 uh, kilowatts and you're getting that out of the inverter, to me, that is pretty good. We've got about 89 amp hours out of this thing of usable through the inverter. And, of course, the uh, Victron inverter is not going to be perfectly efficient. So let's go ahead and look at these efficiency numbers. Basically, your efficiency is going to be about a 92%, you know, when you're converting this thing, you know, from the DC to the AC. And then you're going to have a little bit of loss, you know, just in the lines and just in the general system, you know. So getting 89, you know, amp hours out of this thing, which is basically 89% efficiency from what your battery is carrying over here to what I'm getting at my loads is outstanding in my opinion. Now, I am probably going to run another test on this thing and just put a little Victron shut on just the DC side. And maybe at the end, I'll say, hey, whatever the actual amp hours is on the DC side coming out. But at least you know what your kilowatt hours is going to be coming out of your inverter. You know, it's not going to be 100% of what this thing is rated for. And actually, my number is wrong. It's probably actually closer to 97% or something like that when you do your conversions. Interval, you know, if I'm saying the name right, Overlay M, they are a new company. And they're only selling the battery right now on their website. And that's where you can use the code Rodney55 to get $55 off and get this thing for $770, which is crazy. But I want to go ahead and talk about the packaging really quick. It's the best packaged server rack battery I've ever seen. I've seen several different companies that I've got batteries from, of course, over the years of me testing these things out. And this one has been outstanding. Let me go ahead and show you the top of this thing. So basically, the box was made to stand straight up with the handles on the side for you to carry it. And a lot of them are definitely not made that way. And this foam piece right here was on the top of the battery. You just pull that out, it has everything on it. You can just grab the handles and pull it up and out of the box. And to me, that was a lot easier than some of the other ways you're trying to struggle to get the batteries out, cutting the boxes all open and everything. And, uh, and it come with some pretty good manuals. You know, I didn't use them. I looked through them. It's very, very nice come with some commu different communication cables that you may need. It came with a couple of short battery cables so you can parallel these things. It came with, you know, quite a few brackets if you want to put this in a server setup. And then it came with these. This bracket right here, you can put it on there so you can stack these on top of each other and you've got your own rack just by the little mounts that come with this thing. So that's pretty cool. You can mount them, you know, several of these batteries stacked up. I think it might be like, you see the four or six or something like that on top of each other. And that's pretty cool. I can look through the manual and find out for sure. Let's look through the quick install manual and see how many it says you can stack. So it looks like you can stack four on top of each other from the manual here. So that's pretty cool without having to buy some big server rack deal. It already comes in the box, you know, so that was definitely good thinking on their part. I definitely do like that. And then it came with two more battery cables that I got on the inverter longer cables that you can hook right up to your inverter as a quick connects on one end and a ring terminal on the other so that's a pretty good idea pretty neat that they actually came with the battery cables two different set for 770 dollars and like i said again this is a new company so you know the customer service and all that you know we're gonna have to see over time it's gonna be like a long-term thing to see how this company does you know but so far i'm really excited about how everything's working out 
the the battery of course has all the different communications it's got can communication rs45 um you got parallel communications you know you got an on off breaker and then you got your own off switch as well so definitely like that you can turn the bms on and off without turning the breaker off or on and it comes with covers for all of these i took two of them off of course when i was doing the testing and this thing's gonna come with grade a cells uh jbd uh smart bms and basically they manufacture these things themselves and so you know definitely something to know and see how they do you know long term we just don't know with any kind of new company they're brand new but so far i'm pretty impressed all right what we want to see now i'm gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see what the inside looks like all right looks like they got everything covered in here all right so we got this little got this little cover over everything in here over the cells but we might be able to pull up the edges without taking it all the way off i guess we can take it off all right let's see here everything is screwed and then got the little putty on the all the connections looks like and looks like between the sills it's got some phones all right it's light where i can see a little better <laughs> everything looks fairly standard from what i'm seeing we got double cables on the negative i guess like we got a single one on the positive side this got some qr codes on here i don't know if i could take a picture of it without taking more stuff apart and i'm not trying to do that since all the stuff is zip tied but you know look, definitely looks like new cells with the qr codes and then you know your vent ports are, all have the holes in them so this design is is, is pretty good it definitely looks good to me it looks like good work i don't know why the, the qr codes are always blocked on these things but let's go ahead and put this back together i mean this setup uh, uh looks fine to me i don't see any problems with this you know i don't claim to be an expert i'm just a diy but to me it looks pretty good tell me if you ever put chicks inside your building with electronics everything is going to be super dusty so i definitely don't recommend it i won't be doing it again probably bam so you might be wondering will this battery you know uh, uh work will it communicate with you know eg4 uh batteries and stuff like that let's go ahead and just try it out can communication will r45 to our other battery that's doing can communication with the 12,000 xp just to see if it picks it up and changes the amp hours i'll look right here on the inverter real quick on my 12,000 xp of course if you want one of these things of course i have this link below too all right for battery capacity it's saying 280 on the battery right now so let's go ahead and hook up a, a communication cable to this just to see if it, that changes all right let's just well is this gonna reach <laughs> if this will reach to the battery uh com which you know it may not so parallel let's go to a well i don't know maybe i got to set up my address to i'm gonna i'm gonna move two of them up to see what happens it may turn my inverter off in my power in here so hopefully not if it does i'll just unplug it and have to restart i guess i'm gonna try to see if i can pull this up on the app maybe it'll be easy for you guys to see okay we got it right there so battery capacity is showing 280 plug this in let's see if this trips the battery nothing trip yep which i guess is a good sign a lot of times these batteries will trip when you hook up a battery that don't, you know, communicate natively with it. Not that anything's going to change, but let's update the app. I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh. I might have to turn the battery off or something. Nothing's changed yet. Let me get out from this hole. All right, let me look over here on the inverter. So right now it's still saying 280. So don't like it changed. Oh, okay, maybe I got a set for the uh, uh, communications on here. Maybe I should read the manual. All right, let me see. Uh, RS-45 looks like Lux Power right there. That's probably one we're going to need. 
And right now, it hasn't changed. Yep, 280 still. Hmm. All right, I'm going to grab the manual. Let's look in here. All right. LCD inverter protocol. Let's see how good this is. Track it. Port B. Oh, so I needed to connect to port B, I think. It, it flipped the breaker on my inverter. So definitely did something that time. All right, let's go ahead and reset everything. So I guess because this don't have the rapid shutdown, it caused a rapid shutdown on the, my uh, regular battery over here to uh, flip when I put it on COM port B. COM port A didn't do anything when I connected it. So it's definitely not going to communicate with this battery, probably unless you cut this cable. And I'm not doing that to do this test. So maybe we'll do that in another video. I'm not going to be doing that today. All right. I set the uh, pack. I went to pack set and rs45 and it went to pylon and that's what i set the uh rs45 communications to and we're gonna see if that one works it seems like that might be the protocol or variant of the protocol that works with the eg4 power pro battery the indoor version so i'm gonna see if that works the lux didn't work i was thinking that was gonna work but that's just if you want to communicate i guess with a lux power inverter from this battery so it looks like it might not be what i need so we'll go ahead and try it again and see if it kicks the power out one more time with just a regular cable and we'll see if that works i'll go ahead and get a number one over here i mean b let's see what happens escape out of this go to pack status see what it says in a discharge on charge on and it flipped the breaker over here anyway so, looks like that didn't work. Let's go ahead and kick everything back on. So, will this battery easily communicate with the EG4 Power Pro battery? Not easily. You probably got to cut some cables, and then it still may not work. That's why I really don't want to cut the cable to try it. So, for right now, I'm going to say it's not going to work. But something like this will be ideal if you are not looking, you know, to make a huge system and you just want to make it as budget as possible, you know, how good is the customer service and stuff going to be? I just don't know at this point. So it, it might be great, but it is a company that's going to be based in, in China. And I don't know if they have any U.S. based customer support. So that's just something to think about when you're making a purchase like this. You know, the value with just the price, you know, if everything is working good, you know, might be great for you. So it's just something to think about whenever you're making your decision. But that $770 price point is going to be hard to beat with free shipping. I mean, that is pretty crazy. So, you know, if you want to do as much as possible system, hey, you might want to go pick one up or a couple up. And if you're just trying to do a backup for your home to have some power doing emergencies. And I definitely like the stacking option, you know, with a little bracket set it comes with. That is pretty unique. And the shipping box, how they have it and how it comes is pretty, pretty good as well. I definitely like that. Seems like it'd be a lot harder to get damaged because the foam around it and on the handles is a lot thicker than the other batteries I've seen uh, shipped in the past, server rack style. You know, the big uh, 280 amp hour uh, uh, power probe batteries, you know, they come in like a crate. So, you know, those things are usually always going to be good to go. But as you can see, I used the ma manuals, you know, so some definitely some good information in here, you know, and then it even has a little thing about the communications in here and how to do it. And, you know, I wish it said for every kind of bat other battery and inverter out there, but they're probably thinking most of the time you're going to be using it with a different inverter and not a different battery brand. So it's going to be a lot harder for it to communicate that way because they all might have like some little tweaks in their different uh, protocols. So that's probably what the case is and why it's flipping the breaker over here on the EG4 stuff. But it seems like a pretty good build for $770 and then it will have CAN communications and RS45 that'll work with a whole bunch of the different inverters including Lux Power because that was actually built into it so and I didn't test that out because I've already flipped this thing off enough of times I guess I can test it should I test it oh man I guess I can make this thing turn off one more time you know because I don't have the battery charge right now I'm not going to do it because the battery's at 0%, and that'll probably make the inverter turn off. 
and I don't want it to turn off again just because the battery ain't charged and so it, ain't, it still ain't gonna work anyway. I had to charge the battery back and make another video on that. So I just have to make a follow-up video because I don't have time right now to charge this and then go and get everything redone. I've been working a lot, you know, I've had this for a few weeks now and I ran the, t the first test like a couple weeks ago and then I was missing something that I needed to try to finish this up. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just finish this up and we'll make another video, a part two on this battery. And I'll try to communicate with the EG4, in EG4 inverter or Lux power. And we'll use the Victron shunt and see what the actual amp hours is on the DC side. So that'll be in part two of this little uh, review of this battery. And Interval did send this battery out to me, so I wanna thank him for sending this out and letting me check it out and you know, trusting me to do a, a review for him and just being honest with you guys. And so, hey, like I said, new company, and we'll see how they do in the long term, but for the short term, $770, I don't know if anybody can beat it. I haven't seen one this low that I've seen. I've definitely seen them right around $800. But $770 with free shipping is pretty unbelievable. So remember, if you're interested in that, I'll link it up below. I don't have an affiliate uh, link right now with them, but I do have the discount code Rodney55. Uh, so, you know, you won't be uh, uh, actually supporting me when you buy one or anything like that. But hey, if you need to get something for a budget price, you know, hey, it seems like it's pretty good to me. And if you like these kind of videos, hey, think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, and thanks for watching.